You always hear about it. All you can eat, all you can drink, everything you want at your fingertips, and you have a stunning beach. All-inclusive resorts are hyped up by everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna spend a day showing you what it's like to be at an all-inclusive and if it's really worth it. Before we head out anywhere, first things first, we gotta hit a nice morning workout. Training for a triathlon in the summer, so gotta get in better running shape. The grind doesn't stop on vacation. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off or get lost. We're heading out to breakfast. It's usually from 7 to 10. There's two different places you can get breakfast at a buffet. One is near the beach and the other one's at the main lobby area. The main lobby area usually has the better food though. The food isn't always the best and there's not too many options usually, but it's enough to get you full and you gotta load up on a lot of fruits. But now the rain started, we're getting rained on. So we have to get back into the hotel. Still warm though, so can't complain. Now we're going into the other buffet near the beach to get some lunch. Everyone's coming out here because it's raining hard. A lot of the stuff they just have until they run out. So we were standing in line for hot dogs twice now and both times they ran out while we were in line. So we still haven't been able to get a hot dog. There's an ice cream parlor where you can get some ice cream. You better be a fan of chocolate because that's the only flavor they ever have. There's a lot of things you can do on the beach as well. There's a bunch of tours they offer like catamaran and also you can go snorkeling in the middle of the water, see a bunch of fish. And we just did the snorkel tour. It was so incredible. You get to see so many fish under the water. And the fish swim up right in front of you. If you put the bread right in front of your face, they're gonna swim right past you and it's so nice. when tipping the people here they don't like having coins because they can't exchange them so they prefer bills and you're able to exchange your money here for cuban pesos like these hundreds or fifties which they like as tips but you can also tip in canadian or usd euros as well they really just accept everything dinner at the resorts you can also go to the main buffet or you can check out a couple of a la carte restaurants that you have to book when you get here because they fill up quick but the options for those at this resort are the cuban restaurant japanese restaurant italian and also a gourmet restaurant those are always fun because you're not eating the same food that you always have at the buffet every day so i recommend making as many of those reservations as you can oh, finish. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. And at night, they always have a show going on at the main theater, and each time it's a different theme. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out this video on what to do in Havana. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.